Now we've got this um, Burke light here. It's from about the same time as the American pacemaker light. It's my uncle's office lamp when he was a youth. Hmm. Maybe the late 50s or early 60s. Of course it has the wrong color and there's some stickers on it. It seems to be very good quality. And uh, I'm wondering if I should uh, paint it and uh, remove the wire because I would need a longer wire I think. Paint it the correct shade of blue. That went relatively painless. You actually had to remove the screw totally because there are these grooves here that the screw sits in. So it can't fall apart unless the screw is all the way out. The holder looks a little bit worse for the wear but the metal parts inside looks very sturdy. We'll reuse that. Funny that the wire actually had changed color from green to brown, no to gold actually. So no, it's just a matter of uh, removing the stickers, sanding it down and painting and reassembling with a new wire. It will be kind of interesting to thread the wire through these ones. I guess I'll have to take the joint apart too because it was kind of tight in there. There's something about quality stickers. I don't know where when these were fastened onto this lamp, but the plastic is still, still soft and the glue is still gluey or it doesn't really stick much anymore, but you can do that. And they pressed. The paint for the pacemaker has been sitting too long and there was snark or yeah, paint on top of the can had hardened so we need to sift it. The painting from last night came out okay, but as I thought I need another layer, so I'll put that on now. I won't film it, it will be just a replay of yesterday. The only difference being that you can't see where I'm painting when it's already blue. Here's the original table mount for the lamp. That's this spigot there that's pressed in <coughs> and so on the pacemaker we have <coughs> these screws that aren't used for anything at the moment 
these four holes here they are for the coolant system I never used that uh, either but I might at some point put this uh, they must be for some accessory used at some point but now they have no function so I think we will make a bracket to fasten or bracket to fasten the light or lamp to here if you make the bracket see here the correct side let's see anything there if you make it three inches that way and about two inches that way and we can make <coughs> mounting holes so these go to the bracket and then we can have a spigot right there I still have leftovers from the Stenderess project I marked out about two inches there and this is three and a quarter about and it's one and a half inches thick so we'll cut it there and then so to figure out the uh, bolt or the distance between these bolts we got 42.4 or something there and I got 57.78 the other way so I'll just figure out the average there these bolts have obviously been drilled and tapped by hand so they're not 100% square I guess I will have to make the holes with a little more clearance than normal. We're going to pick up that corner because that's where we measured everything from. Here's a very professional drawing usually I like to make a proper drawing but this time I started making the part first so anyway we're going to be 38.9 millimeters from the this corner up and 13.2 in from the for the first hole and 50.1 more for the second hole
chamfer on the front too. Here we got the drawing. And there we have a suitable piece of 4140 heat treat shucked up. I'll just indicate that. I won't film the indicating because that has been filmed a million times before. And if you want to know how to indicate in a forjo, look up A bomb on YouTube and he shall show you the way.
pin is finished and this top piece here or top part fits into the lamp fit very nicely and we will just press that into there it's a few hundreds of millimeters press fit so it should go in press fit and it got a little bit harder that's as far as we need to go there it's mounted we'll see how the lamp fits unfortunately I didn't buy a bulb um, today so we'll see if we can Steal a bulb from somewhere in the house. We will see if this works. Plus, <clears throat> I'm uh, putting a 40 watt normal bulb there now, uh, but I'll change to a LED bulb because. Um, the internals of this lamp uh, is rated for 40 watts, I think. And my uncle has probably used more than that, it looks like. So I'll get a LED bulb with uh, approximately or equally to a 100 watt normal bulb. That won't heat up so much and give nice light. This isn't enough light really, but it works.